Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a VS Codium for Java programming. One prerequisite is that you do need to have Java installed. I do have a couple videos on my channel on how to do that. So if you don't know how to do that, watch those first. Once we have it installed though, it's pretty easy to set up in VS Codium. But first, if you like videos like this where I show you how to set up and how to install software, make sure to subscribe. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. So I have a folder open here in VS Codium. The folder is called Java. And I want to get some syntax highlighting, some snippets, those kind of things, some project support with coding Java. Okay, so what I need to do here is go to my extensions and I'm going to search for this requires a little bit more searching than if you were using, say, VS Code, but I'm going to search for extension pack for Java, okay? And it won't be the first one that comes up, but if you go down here, we see this extension pack for Java, and it has popular extensions for Java development that provide Java IntelliSense, debugging, testing, uh, Maven, Gradle support, project management, that, so on and so forth. If we uh, click on this, we do see it's in the open VSX registry, so you can now install this for VS Codium. So let's minimize this. I'm gonna click install. Okay. Once that's installed, we can close this out. I can go back to here and let's create a file. Let's create a file called test.java. And one thing you'll notice, we have this play button up here now. And let's, wow, look at that it generates the code for me, so I don't even have to type public class test. That's pretty nice, okay? Uh, and then if I type main here and hit tab, uh, it, that's a snippet for this public static void main string square bracket in the arg, so I don't have to type any of that. Now, if I do sys out and hit tab, I get system.out.println. So you can see with this extension pack, it makes coding in Java a lot easier. So I'm just going to do a simple program here. I'm going to say, hi, my name is Tim. Now I'm not saving this. Let's test if we'll play it. So it did just save it. I don't know if you noticed that there. And there you go. It runs the program and pretty fast. So very nice, uh, very nice plugin here uh, that'll run the program. Now you can also, of course, do it old school and do control in the tilde to bring up the terminal. And then I could do Java C test.java and then run the file of Java test. And I get the same result. Okay, when I just click the play button, you notice it didn't create the class file. It just, it just outputted what my code would output if I compiled and then run the class file. So that's pretty cool. Uh, one more thing I want to show you. If I close out this folder here and I go back up here to open a folder you notice that I have this create a Java project so I can click on this and create a Java project based on a lot of different things like Spring Boot that kind of thing uh, it's pretty pretty good Java support in VS Code I really like it or VS Codium uh, so anyways hopefully this video was helpful if it was could you please give it a like thank you